Um, we played the game the right way at the end of the day today. I, I mean, uh, obviously, watching Allen on, on film, uh, I knew that the manpower was not going to be there to go up against us. Um, and all we talked about yesterday was play the game the right way. Don't play selfishly on offense. Uh, there's nothing worse than than somebody that decides because I'm better than my opponent, let me do my own thing. And that creates division. That creates selfishness is nasty. You can't ever do it. it, it once it creeps in there, uh, it, it destroys your team. And uh, we had 31 assists or something like that, I believe. I thought offensively we turned down some early in the game some really good shots. Uh, but our ball movement and guys trying to do things the right way was there. I, I thought we, we passed it. I thought we played the ball in the paint, then just settle for shooting threes. Um, um, I thought we defended for the most part. I tried to play our 3-2 zone, which I hadn't used all year. I tried to use it today to work on it some. I thought we were okay in it. Um, but uh, um, just, you know, happy. This, this team's fun to be around. Frank, is there at least an early update on AJ? Yeah, it, it, we, there's an MRI schedule for the morning. I don't, I don't really know uh, extent uh, if it's just a sprain or if there's some kind of damage. I mean, we, you know, cross our fingers and and uh, uh, say some words and tonight and 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 hopefully it's something that's short, not long. Obviously, he was out for almost the entire game, so you got a chance to work in a lot of guys in that four spot. Who did you like there? Is, is there one guy that maybe stood out that said, if AJ's out for a while, that's who I'm going with? Yeah, I mean, you know, Brandon's worked really hard to, to earn minutes there for us, and he, he, he hasn't practiced uh, real well for the last seven or eight days. And no reason. He hasn't, like, come in there and been bad. He just hasn't been as – good in practice as he needs to be. And and AJ's had been practicing better as he's coming back from all the, the stuff poor kid's been through early this year. Um, but, uh, um, you know, obviously Brandon, take one Woodley. I, I don't think I'm going to go back to Josh Gray at the four like I did early in the year. That's the only thing. Now Keyshawn back, won't be surprised seeing Keyshawn play some four. Um, uh, you know, but I good thing is we're off tomorrow. So I'll uh, – I'll take a deep breath tonight and, you know, think, which when you get old, that's what you do. You think a lot um, and, uh, and, and, and then cross my fingers and see what kind of news we get tomorrow. And, uh, but in the short term, uh, we, we've got to make a couple little adjustments to, to get ready for Saturday. Uh, with Jermaine out, this is the most uh, we've seen Chico on the court uh, the past couple of days. Yeah. Uh, uh, what have you made of just what he's done, especially playing point guard? And along with that, do you have any update on, on Jermaine yet as far as his availability? Yeah, I, 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 Jermaine, I, I, you know, Michael, I'm, I'm, when I was young, I used to have conversations with players about playing when they were dealing with injury. When I mean young, I'm talking about in high school. And ever since I've been in college, we got why? Because in high school, your trainer is usually your offensive line coach. You know what I mean? So it's like, um, but ever since I've been in college, we got trainers and doctors, and those guys deal with our players, and uh, I stay out of the way. And I, I, uh, Jermaine, our trainer and our doctor have cleared him for participation. He's got to be at peace with his body. When he's at peace with his body, he'll be back out there. I, I, I'm not. I'm not engaging in a conversation with somebody about uh, how to find peace in their body. That's uh, we all got to do that on our own. Um, and uh, your other question was Chico. Chico. Yeah, Chico. Chico can really, really shoot the basketball, and he's got to help us. He has to help us, and um, he's been a lot better the last ten days or so. Uh, after the Coastal game, he was not any. We were all bad, including him against Coastal. And uh, uh, since the Coastal game, he's been a lot better in practice. And, and, and you know, we're, we're, we're challenging him. We're pushing him to, to understand what we're doing because he has to help us. He's a good player. He's got to help us. Kind of sticking with that a little bit, how nice is it to have a stable, if Chico continues to develop and Jacoby continues to play the way he's playing, to have a stable of point guards ready to go if Jermaine's out for a more extended period of time? Same at the four spot if AJ's 
gone with Key and, and Taquan and some of those guys. How nice is it to have the stable that you have there to be able to kind of plug and play if need be? Yeah, no, that's that's uh, to get through a season. It's all hands on deck, man. It's it's uh, you know what you, what you put on paper when you're sitting in your house in late September and you envision your team being and who, where, and what, and all that stuff, and you have all these great staff meetings where you sit around and talk and get nothing done. I, nothing worse than meetings. I mean, has anyone invented a worse, bigger waste of time in mankind than meetings? I mean, but you have all these meetings and you talk and everyone hears each other talk and get, nothing gets done. At the end of the day, head coach does or whatever the hell he wants to do anyway. So, um it's usually not the way the season unfolds. And and that's why it's so important to keep guys ready. You know, you got to keep guys ready. It's all hands on deck. You got to keep guys ready because you never know when your number's going to be called. And uh, that's, I'm a big believer in playing guys uh, and putting guys in. And, you know, and why? Because they got to be, they got to know that I believe in them, number one. Number two, they got to get their feet wet. So when their number gets called for real, they're they're ready to go. And uh, so we've we've got we've got depth on this basketball team. We've got a lot of bodies, and um, uh, we 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 you know. And as we navigate through this, we got to adjust because every player has a unique talent. So you got to adjust to that player's talent. So that's that's uh, that's my journey as a head coach. I got to figure that out, but I got guys I trust out there. Frank, you mentioned at the beginning uh, just having a lot more manpower than Allen. When you have a, a game like this in the non-conference schedule where the competition just isn't that even on the court, do you have to curve or adjust your own kind of expectations for what you determine to be successful in a game like this? I just want us to play. You have to have a – you, you got to have characteristics as a human being of who you are every day. And it's no different for your basketball team. There's a personality that has to be, you, you got to create. You can't be this guy today and that guy tomorrow and that guy tomorrow. And when you feel good, act a certain way. And when you don't feel good, act a different way. If that's who you are as a human being, you're, you end up being a total colossal failure in life. Well, as a basketball team, it's the same way. You got to create a personality that, that who you are. You never play the opponent. You play the game. And when you play the game, you play through your personality, defensively and offensively. I thought our man-to-man -man defense, given the fact that they basically play five guards, uh, that, that, that we just had a really hard game on Sunday. And, but they just played yesterday, too. So it's not like that's – I'm talking about my team. I'm not talking about them. I thought our discipline defensively was pretty good early in the game. And <clears throat> as far as – guarding and rotating and the spacing that, 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 that this team would create. We did things the right way. We did things through our personality. I've been all over our team because I don't think we've rebounded as well as we need to. Well, we grabbed 60 or so, 50-something or one of those things today. Um, we, we got the ball in the paint. We shared it. Um, you got to have a personality. And, and any time you play, you got to play through that personality. And I thought we did that today. Thank you.